Oh boy, we've we've got another one. I've got some good news though. No foot fungus this time. And if you've never watched any other commercial chaos, just be thankful. All right, so Mad Clown, thank you for um, helping out get this pack sorted and uh, doing a great job here. We also have uh, submissions by Corvus, Mibble, a.k.a. Stan Baxson, Taiji, None of Your Business, <laughs> great name, Whoop Whoop, Master Gamer, Walter, Gimme, Mr. Flipnote, Mad Clown, J-Star, and Bowsasaurus Rex. So we'll start with retro commercials. We'll, we'll keep things light chat i also have some youtube poops in fact mad clown kindly provided um fertilizer there's a folder here called fertilizers for youtube poop to enhance the poop there's only three poops though so don't expect very much but it, they should be um quality hopefully well we saved the world from aliens but Bobby is still 50 feet tall and Dale is still invisible. It's true. This is amazing. I have no choice. Shabu, for my last wish, what? I want everything back to normal. It is done. Wait a minute. This isn't back to normal. This is light beer. Darn you, Shabu! What is this a commercial for? You were right, Hank. Well, King, King of, the, of Hill. the Hill. The movie was a terrible idea. As bad as it was, I don't know why you had to cast Ned Beatty as me. We went a different way, Bill. I just wish that some good could come out of this tragedy. Well, it did, Peggy. We well, all got Will Rogers combo packs to enjoy while we watch this abomination. <laughs> At the concession stand, be sure to ask for the Will Rogers summer combo pack because a portion of the proceeds will go directly <laughs> to the Will Rogers Institute to develop new treatments and cures for a yeah, variety that's, that's, of pulmonary that's what it's a commercial for. and support national educational programs. So please, buy a combo pack and help us fight lung disease, one junior mint at a time. Okay. I, astounding. I thought it was a commercial for a King of the Hill movie or... You know, I, I didn't think there was a movie. And I'm like, wait a minute. Do I have false memories of a King of the Hill movie? Um, hang on one second, chat. Let me, let me pull up my limiter just in case these commercials get extra crusty. So once again, the category we are in at the moment is retro. So that doesn't necessarily mean gaming. Gaming is after that. So uh, hopefully... We'll have some entertaining retro commercials and then entertaining gaming commercials as well. Yo, 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 Paul. It's so much fun and easy to do. Because wherever it goes, it comes back to you. And you never have to wind it. You can do it all. Hi, man, it's the yo, yo, Paul. Yo, yo, Paul, it always comes back to my big time toys. I, okay, I don't remember that, but I would buy one based on that commercial alone. One thing has long divided Mexicans more than any other. Crunchy or soft tacos. They tried many uh, ways to keep what? the peace. Then one day... There are chat members saying that this is their favorite commercial. Crunchy tacos and soft tortillas in the one key. Oh, Del Paso. True genius. Mexican style. It's a meme? Is it? I've never been privy to this meme. Also, hang on one second. I'm going to try to... Yeah, some of these commercials are just stretched weird. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I like hard shell and soft shell tacos. I don't... What's the meme around it? Why not both? Oh, is the meme. I got it. It's Dragomon's Fortress. <laughs> Sorry, that was me actually puking. Adventures come alive when you as an engineer. Dragomon Fortress, Bravemore Castle, and other sets sold separately. Chat, was this based on a TV show? 
What is that? No, it's just its own thing. Man, if I saw that commercial as a kid, I would have annoyed the fuck out of my parents to get it for me. Oh. That's right. Graphical rapper. Roger, what are you doing here? Please, Eddie. I just came to see Jessica and to have a diet coke. Diet Coke and Roger wow. at a theater near you. I wonder if Zemeckis actually directed that. You got Bob Hoskins. You got the actual animation. They probably had an agreement to get a bunch of money from Coke to fund the movie if they shot a commercial. Wow. Guess the product, chat. Bet you can't. Oh, well, most of chat got it, actually. We already saw it. Literally showed at the beginning. Oh. <laughs> oh, bet you can't. Hang on. Oh, it's literally... Oh, my God. I was busy looking at chat, and I didn't even see the fucking deodorant. The attention span of a fly. I don't remember the, the animation, but I remember that that song. Not crazy about pizza flavored chips. I had one of these. I'm pretty sure I had the purple one. Unless it was some kind of like uh, other disgusting ball product, like, um, you know, ACDC ball product. Because they had their own balls that they, they like what they did is they put them in like a uh, plaster and then they sold the actual mold of their balls. And that was the, the, you know, you buy the album, you get the balls. So. Thank you, Mad Clown. Mad Clown, you are very good at this. Yeah, I was trying to see if I could. Oh my god. Oh, that's, that's awesome. They built their own miniatures. It's like Star Wars. They built their own Death Star trench run. But no, I mean, it's, it's yeah, Matt Cross. But that's awesome. Good commercial. Um, they come out at night. They strike without warning. Oh no! But now, it's your turn to get even. Grab his arm! I got mine! Electronic Stretch Screamers. Okay, so this is some kind of clone of Stretch Armstrong. And when you squeeze their heads... I bet parents love these stupid things. Oh no! Here we go again! Whoa. Electronic stretch screamers. You Not only do you have to hear them scream, but think about how many kids probably accidentally broke them and got all that liquid all over their carpet. What a nightmare. I uh, I had a stretch Armstrong, but I didn't have one of those. I I honestly like those better. But yeah, that's kind of annoying. Q. 
<laughs> Maynard says chew. Yeah. Yeah, there's something a little bit creepy about that commercial. That's one of those things you see it just at the right time of night. Maybe you had a little too much to drink. Or you're waking up from a nightmare and you see that. I don't, I don't know how I'd feel about that. What a picture. A lady duck. Duck. Oh, and shoulders. Duck. Here's a real prize. A pair of sunburned biologists. They're helping Ducks Unlimited secure marshlands. So Canada will always have lots of waterfowl and wildlife. Not to mention good water management. There's a redhead. An enraged moose. Moose. Enraged moose. Ducks Unlimited, conserving wetlands. Hell for yeah! How do I join? I want to join Ducks Unlimited. Unlimited Ducks. That's like where you send in like a dollar and you get unlimited CDs and you can listen to whatever you want. That's a commercial from 1984, by the way. Was the duck taking pictures of nude ducks though? That's a cool comment, chat member. Big news. McDonald's Super Size Cups now feature the stars of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I'm a coon. Now at McDonald's, for a limited engagement, appearing on three different super size mm. soft drink cups, the stars of the new movie, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. <laughs> good time, good taste. Super size makes in my place. Good so they, they, yeah, they also filmed that too, I think. What did he say? What did Roger Rabbit say? I'm a coon. I'm a coon. I'm a coon. What? Tune. Tune. I'm a coon. Poon. He says it like poon. He, yeah. He's not like I'm a coom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Chat. It's not anything like that. Monster action figures have arrived. Summon the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, or even the unstoppable force of Exodia, the Forbidden One. Exodia, obliterate! I'm only aware of this as a meme. <laughs> like, I really don't know anything about Yu Gi Oh! except Exodia. Kids, will you put your skills to the test and have enough to conquer the Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon? Yu Gi Oh! Deluxe action figures and model kits, each sold separately. You put them together. Okay. Looks like it was filmed back in the 1700s, Michael. Here as Washington crossing the Delaware, announcing the new 50 state quarters from the United States Men. Wow! Special effects. Each How'd they get quarter tells something about the state it represents. This one's New Jersey. Wow! New quarter about every 10 weeks. Are we there yet? 50 state quarters from the United States Men. The most exciting change America's ever seen. Thanks, Kermit. That's weird. Kermit, <laughs> Kermit got paid to do this. Think about that. What a good job for him. And for New Jersey's quarter, of all things, too. Um, also, then Kermit, in the same day, probably accepted the gig to tell people not to throw batteries in the river. That's a Steve Whitmire Kermit. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not a Jim Henson Kermit. So that's probably like 92 or 3, something like that, right? Hi, I'm Dr. Dreadful. I remember this, this commercial. Oh, my God. Makes lots of gross things. And then you eat them. Dr. Dreadful's monster skin. <laughs> mm. Care for a tasty tarantula? Yep, the tasty tarantula, my god. Swarms. And now magic powder, stir, and monster brains! Mmm, fruity! The Dr. Dreadful Food Lab makes gross things again and again. <laughs> <Totally dreadful. laughs> so I didn't have one. I wanted one, but I didn't get one. That was another one of those commercials that was just at the right time of gross out stuff. So if you got brains that you can eat and they're gross and they're delicious, then you're going to sell a lot of fucking products. I've replaced your shoelaces with fruit by the foot. So you did. I replaced your fingers with fruit by the foot. 
Bravo. Everything, I everywhere, all at once. Bones with fruit by the foot. Indeed, you have. I replace your guitar strings with fruit by the foot. <laughs> Seems like a step backwards, but all right. It's like body horror happening. I replaced your DNA with fruit by the foot. That would be end game, my friend. Fruit by the foot. <laughs> fruit flavored snack. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. He's, yeah, he's dead. I mean, rusticated out of his body. Let me attempt to get a full widescreen on this if possible, chat. You can devour the evidence and it tastes great too. You'll love the real taste of pizza in Walker's Pizza Pizza. Is that the Godfather? It was like Marlon Brando. <laughs> Walker's Pizza Pizza. You'll love him to bits. That's a that's a weird like Godfather Marlon Brando impression. Was that in the commercial, the baby? No. Are you kidding me? What, what the fuck am I listening to? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> this was the this was what they came up with to advertise a rerun of Lord of the Rings on TBS. Also, I heard Wilhelm screams. Listen. The Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings. Return of the King. More movie, less commercials. Coming up next on TBS. That's amazing. He definitely throttled to completion after that commercial, though. TBS did a whole bunch of shows or movies. Oh, they did this with a whole bunch of shows or movies. I see. Someone said, good to see Gollum bounce back after his game. I know he's got a disco gig now. I guess if you want, here's the poop for the retro commercials. Oh. Fucking fuck out! Pulmonary diseases. <laughs> oh. Indeed you have. Oh. <laughs> Pulmonary disease. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when humans get as smart as mushrooms. Return of the. Wow. I wonder if that intermission is going to get claimed. Why don't you pretend to be dead? Okay. Will Rogers. Will Rogers. Hi, home Kermit the Frog here. I thought I turned that off. Oh my god. I thought I turned it off. No! Right now. Buried in the forest one time and. Wait a minute. Did you shoot this? <laughs> The Rings, Return of the King. That was me as Kermit. I forgot I added that to the collector. Oh my god. I thought I turned that off. No, I did after this, chat. I forgot this one time. Just for this one poop. Wow, that was awful. All right. Gaming time, gamers. We got some gaming commercials now. Well, we're going to work up to the mobile commercials, and there's there's not as many, but hopefully they'll be entertaining and not make us want to puke. Electricity? Careful there. Ha! Or it'll toast your eyeballs. Dear God. 
And again, chat, that was normal. When I was growing up, that's just what commercials for cool, fun things looked like. It was just a lot of screaming and that. And now it's all TikTok. Back up! Electricity? Careful there. Ha! Or it'll toast your... We've got the game. Chopper Command by Activision. Wait, this guy is training like soldiers and is going to go play a video game? Oh, it's like a different type of defender. Amazing. Oh, new Charizard card. Cool. Oh yeah. How much do you think that Charizard card is worth? New gym challenge game card. Muck, you've got a brand new look. Ah, huh, Muck. New cards, new strategies, new trainers. You just can't take your eyes off. I have some of these actually. The specific like such and such as new Pokemon, Pokemon. Gym challenge cards in stores now. Dex and booster packs sold separately. Play man not included. Oh, new Charizard. So I don't know if I have that one, but yeah, I don't even know what that says. I can't even like really see what it is. But anyway, booster packs sold separately. Play man not included. I saw clowns. Oh, they're gone now. <laughs> Did you not see the fish man? What do you mean the fish man? Who was the fish man? Oh yeah, in the pool. What's yeah? What's weird about that? There's clowns changing a tire, and there's a fishman in the pool. Whatever. Yep, more goo. Which again, now it's just like slime. There's like slime stores that you can just go to and hang out with slime. But this is supposed to be puke. <laughs> You know what we need? We need Pac-Man to vomit. And we need to sell that. You know, Joe Bunga, that's brilliant. How do we market it? I don't know. Make a fucking crazy commercial. Whatever. I, oh. Is that spelled? Oh, this is... Remember. Remember. Wow. This is making me feel bad for all my old electronics now. Whatever you do, don't dump them in the river. Please. Okay. Wow, chat. Um, I feel really bad for my old flip phone now. And then I think about my my like old Dell and Gateway computer. Those are long gone. They're in, they're in a dump somewhere. Actually, they're probably a nice home for a squid as we speak. Yo, Johnny, Mickey D. Okay, thanks. Ah. Out of the TV. <laughs> Look who's popping into McDonald's. 
It's Mario from the new Super Mario Brothers 3 game. And when you buy a McDonald's Happy Meal, yeah. you'll get I have a some of these. Mario or a Kooky Looney. I have that. Koopa Paratroopa or a little Goomba. McDonald's Happy I got the, the, the Mario one Mario. and the Luigi on the cloud. I have those because they were given to me. Not because I was, I, I mean, I was alive at that time. I don't remember them, but that's one of the cool things about going to conventions. People give you random cool stuff or weird stuff. I'll give you an example. I mentioned this, but at Too Many Games, I got a Japanese copy of Chrono Trigger. It's like, not sealed, but in perfect shape. The cartridge is still in the bubble wrap. The booklet, perfect condition. The box is awesome. Chat member, I love it. Someone else gave me a little Final Fantasy IX uh, music box where you wind it up and it plays plays um, melodies of life. And then I just get shit, too. Once in a while, it's stuff like that, and then sometimes it's like... Here's my dog's diaper. But it's Mario themed. You'll like it. Sorry, Grandma. Oh my god, Granny almost died. Ace Combat 4. Rated E for everyone. Wait, what? From the Muppet yours. Show? No problem. Atari presents the wacky new Pigs in Space video game cartridge with Miss Piggy and the Muppet it, crew. It's the Muppets, yeah. Three far out space adventures in one. She's great. Far out. You guys are big pigs. It, wait, is this what? Is this just how kids dressed in the eighties? In the early eighties? Hang on, hang on. Look at look at all these. We're gonna watch this again. Pay attention to their clothing. All right, so this this kid. All right, here's what you're going to do. When I say action, you're going to run a comb through your hair. It's going to be real cool like. All right, we're, we're going to it's the fun club. It's like the breakfast club. Huh? Breakfast club. Yours. And then no the, the one kid just wearing like a button down and a tie. The new Pigs in Space video game cartridge with Miss Space video game cartridge from a You guys are big pigs. Crawl around on the ground like a baby. Yeah, 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 you dress like that too. It's just repressed. Repressed into what? We didn't do any repressings of my past. Eat that. I'm bleeding. The army's most beautiful man. I will defeat you, wall. Why are they doing this to this poor video game character? Fight the door. Die door. Same laugh every time. Uh, oh my god. It, oh my god! What is this selling? And it shot like a snuff film too. Like what the fuck? Um, yeah, yeah. This is how you advertise an online game store. Yeah, why not? Um, you could. Um, does this count? As a character going through the screen, I don't think it does, because he kind of just goes through the door. All right, no, it doesn't. Okay. Well, you dig your Atari, but you're craving for new action. You want new excitement and you want satisfaction. This um, this cover has different lyrics, but it might still get claimed. More just people dressed as normal 80s humans. Like, like, why is this guy basically Dick Tracy? There's like one guy who's like a noir detective and everyone else is Cindy Lauper. Uh, you know, it's like all sitcom outfit. 
I've been driving cattle most of my natural life, and you're telling me I can't handle a stampede? Not this one, Buck. Stampede by Activision for your Atari game system. One of the toughest video games around. Stampede's more than expert roping and riding. It's a test of strategy and skill. Be grateful you didn't have to grow up with this. You boys come in now. Stampede by Activision. Some people did. But, you know, imagine you're waiting for the next game. The next big game is Stampede. These days... You know, you're going to spend full price on a game. You're going to get like a Tears of the Kingdom. But no, back in the day, back in my day, we had to get <laughs> stampede. Come discover a whole new world of video and computer fun for the whole family. Or Gollum. Yeah, Lord of the Rings Gollum, you get. <laughs> you might get that. Maybe stampede's better than that. Atari Good game point. cartridges, slot races, home run baseball, football, bowling. Space War, okay. Street Racer, Basketball, Skydiver. Your choice, only $8.88 each. A whole new world of video and computers is at Meyer now. What is that, like 35 bucks today? Yeah, that counts. $8.88. Um, yeah. Not bad, actually. Okay. Uh, yeah. He's going in. He's looking for the inner butt. Okay, ladies. Game time. Yeah. Got this new video game by Activision called Freeway. Called I just Freeway. Into my Atari video game system and really impressed the ladies. Of course, with Freeway, you gotta be real good to race your chicken across ten lanes of heavy traffic. You gotta dodge speeding cars, roaring trucks. Sometimes this is you get back getting your feathers ruffled. Sometimes, <laughs> ladies, I'm only human. Freeway by Activision. Ladies, I'm only human. New Pocket Arcade from Sega. The only handheld games with flip-out screens. So they're here. They're gone. And they're back. Amazing Sonic, Sega, sports and more. Oh, God. Sega! Pocket Arcade. Don't get caught with anything else. Yeah. They would eventually get you, though. I mean, Game Boy was banned in my school. Not until Pokemon, though. Pokemon... Everyone was like bringing their Game Boys in and they had to ban it at that point. Are you ready for the challenge? Oh, this is cool. And we're really getting that McDonald propaganda today, chat. Sorry about that. Take the Mario Challenge and advance to the next level with a new activity toy and my McDonald's Happy Meal. That said, though, there's a like a big stage show. Do you ever see that stage show where they did the the Mario like that, and it's just dudes in like black suits, like um like morph suits? It's really good. They did the Mario chat. No, they played like a Mario level. It was awesome. So bad. Those puppets look amazing. Does this count? I don't even know anymore. They rose from the ground. I don't know. It's nice to know that um, Sweet D was getting work before Always Sunny. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> They're exploding now. Chad, this is a two minute commercial. Joust, the video game where buzzard men battle ostrich men. The graphics go beyond your wildest dreams. What in the name of fuck? Okay, okay. Imagine it's the 80s. Imagine it's the 80s and you are... You are someone who is in your 60s or 70s and you put on the, the telly, you put on the tube and you watch that and that dem, damn fangled new video game things keep be, being talked about and then you watch that. And that's when you would be like, video games sound stupid and we should stop kids from playing them. That's satanic. Yeah. yeah, dude turned into a bird in a horrific way. He ate a full egg. That might have been a theater ad. Well, even so. Chat, I'm sorry. I, I just needed to see this again. <laughs> okay, as amazing as that commercial was, it could have probably been cut down to like 30 seconds. That could have been a 30 second commercial, the Joust one. That's probably, um, it probably was cut down. You could just do 30 seconds of that. Things in the light are not the same in the dark. The Legend of Zelda, a link to the past for Game Boy Advance. Do I smell wow. fear? Wow. Some like genuinely uh, interesting, like th this. What? What is this? Now, is that the Dark World Cyclops dude that throws bombs? The legend. Wait, so they were called Hinoxes in Link to the Past as well? Huh. The more you know. Cool commercial, though. Fake fan, I know. Chad, it's not a duende. Okay, maybe it is. I don't even know what I was looking at there. That gameplay looked like mush. The video, the video quality is so low, it just looks like mush. What, what, what is that frame? Ragnarok online. Yeah. We begin the quest of Lonely Mountain. Now I say we squash the dwarves and boil them. My precious. Oh my god, that's an even worse golem. Oh Die no. How many of these things are there? God. Go now. Hard. Speed well. This game was on, I think, PS2 and GameCube. Maybe at Xbox as well, but I never played it. But yeah, it's just a little platformer action game um, based around The Hobbit. Is it scrumptious? God. Oh, I hate that golem. 
Okay, it was Rated also e for everyone. It was also on Xbox and PC. Oh, it's loathsome. Chat, this next category is a new category, it seems. This one's celebrity video games plus weird celebrity commercials. Hey, babe. Hey. Second set, third set. Looking good. What's that? Look at this asymmetrical dress. In Style Savvy, you run your own boutique, helping customers with over 10,000 styles to choose yep. from. She looks good. Maybe I should work on you next. I'm just <laughs> I look good. Oh, well, with so many choices, it's like real life, full of unexpected combinations. I'm not sure about the color. Style savvy, only for Nintendo DS and Nintendo DS. Wow. Rated E for everyone. Perfect. Chat. I was gonna say she probably got paid like a million dollars just to spend five minutes of her time backstage delivering a couple lines. I was about to say, there's probably so little work she had to do to get a ton of money, and then she gets slimed. And you know what? Good for her. For being a good sport about that. Style. The kid doesn't even look like a person anymore because the encoder also screwed up. So she's slimed plus encoder problems. Joe, what do you see? Reggie White. This year, we at Sega Sports really studied the players. Reggie White. We learned some interesting things. Reggie White. Then we took that knowledge and created a new passing game and a new speed burst. There's a customized playbook and stats for an entire season. So, how far did we go to understand the players? Well, Maybe too far. Joe Football himself. They, they hooked it up to his brain. Real players from Sega Sports. Now, what do you see? Reggie White. Oh, Sega. Africa on safari with a new Nintendo DS. When the wild boys said they were going to battle it out in the African plains, a lot of people said it couldn't be done. But then we got a hold of the Nintendo DS with wireless multiplayer and loads of other cool stuff, allowing us to be as wild as we wanted. Is this when Steve O was like screen, not okay? <laughs> Nintendo DS. Touching is good. good Available in stores November 21st. Wild Boys Season 1 DVD on sale oh now. My God. Well, he did that. Uh, I watched only ever a little bit of Wild Boys, but he really enjoyed that. And Pontius really enjoyed being naked. That I remember. Just watching the Jackass movies, like, I've probably seen Pontius's nutsack more than I've seen anyone else's. Actually, never mind. I probably saw this guy's nutsack maybe a little bit more. That's a good name. Eric Andre. Uh, no? Yeah, like what's with the, like that makes every band cool. The streets, the hives, everyone wants the. The doors. The fingers. The birds. The arms. The losers. But the ex-guitarist. That's why he broke up with you. Is this like before Eric Andre I got famous? The Red Vox. Yeah, that looks like before maybe even season one of his show. Damn. The music choice was perfect. Yeah, I want to hear that again. Losers. Love the ex guitarist. That's why he broke up with you. Oh. Rated T for T. Mad Clown, you mad clown, you. How did you even do that? Because you, you kept the voice in there. I better hear this one day. Just saying. I'm Mr. T, and this is my night elf mohawk. Cut, T, there's no such thing as a night classic, elf mohawk. Classic, classic commercial. Fool, like I was saying, my mohawk storms through mighty forests on his frost saber. My mohawk. T, it's a warrior, not a mohawk. Well, maybe Mr. T hacked the game and created a mohawk class. Maybe Mr. T is pretty handy with computers. <laughs> Had that occurred to you, Mr. Condescending Director? I'm Mr. T, and I'm a night elf mohawk. What's your game? World of Warcraft. And these Try commercials work too. Beyonce certainly did a lot of ads for the Nintendo DS family of consoles, handhelds. She's so relatable. <laughs> 
Tap into the beat of more than 50 mini games. Rhythm Heaven, rated E for everyone. Now on Nintendo DSi. Yeah. Well, I, I like when people look like people. You know, that's like fun. Like real people being real people. <laughs> Can I help you enjoy that, Snickers? Chat, this is a famous commercial for a couple reasons. Happy peanut soul over chocolate covered mountaintops and waterfalls of caramel. Prancing nougat in the meadow sings a song of satisfaction to the world. The world. That's right. From within your mind, no, no one else can find the life, life that you inspire. inspire. From another place, not from outer space, from some place even higher. From the That's actually him. That's Jack Mulcahy. Wait. Uh oh, my soundboard just broke. I can touch, I can feel. I How do I stop this? So much more what happened? Oh, I got it. <clears throat> yeah, that's Jack. That's like a kind of. Um, it was a very successful commercial, from what I understand. Um, Jack still hears about it once in a while, randomly in his life, and he's pretty proud of it. And um, yeah, some of you remember it, apparently. He's a great singer. Jack has a really good singing voice. I am making the fastest chicken nuggets in the entire planet. The fastest. People can't believe Gilbert. how fast new microwave hot wow. bites are. Hot bites. <laughs> Young look Gilbert Godfrey. Look how tasty and delicious. And in only two minutes, I mean. Six nuggets with sauce in two minutes. All tender, juicy breast meat. You know, with these chicken nuggets, I never have to leave the house. I think I never will leave the house. You know, I think I might lock myself in the house all day. New <laughs> microwave hot bites from Banquet. Sounds different. Wait a second. This isn't my house. I'm in someone else's house. Get okay. Now that's the Gilbert. That's the Gilbert at the end. That, that's the voice I know. But in the beginning, it didn't really sound like him. I am making the fastest chicken nuggets in the entire planet. <laughs> His voice was fake. Yeah, I actually saw a video about that too. Like him on the phone with like, I guess it, he was just calling up Baba Booey or someone. And he was just like, hello, it's me, Gilbert. Um, hi, uh, I would like to maybe uh, book a session on the show. And uh, yeah, as Fink said, no shit actor acting. It's just he used that voice pretty much in everything. So it's really easy to think that that was his voice. And maybe he used it like mostly. Your voice is fake too, Vinny. That's right. My real voice is hi. I've never seen this before. Oh my God. Wow, I've never seen that. I, I'm watching that again. He's doing the big suit moves. He brought the big suit to Japan with him, chat. Or maybe they just filmed him in the US. That's the com minimal effort commercial. I like to put on the big suit and make a lot of money. All they had to do was film me, and I just did my Giga Chad moves. This way, Mr. Star. Life with me, Dad's a real scream. He needs a star vehicle, like my own new Cutlass Supreme. It's Fake Beatle music. Wow. Good for Ringo. He actually had a pretty good film career in the 60s. Like when um, when Beatle were big, he was the one who got the most film roles. And, you know, he was just like a, a fun guy, I guess. And they, they gave him a lot of roles. So. And. Oh, my God. I was like, what is this song? I 
haven't heard this song in about eight, it, what is it six years oh my god oh my god oh my god Well, thank you, Mad Clown, for this. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, uh, what is the... Is that Jean-Claude Van Damme? I'm trying to, like, pay attention to the commercial now, but I'm too busy analyzing the song. Not a problem. With machines like these, we can move the camera in new and even more exciting ways. Wow, hang on. Let me actually pay attention to him delivering his lines real quick because, I mean, he is known to be a professional. No way to get the shot? Not a problem. With machines like these, we can move the camera in new and even more exciting ways. What year was this? How much money did they pay you? Yeah, this is probably... Uh, what, what is this? Uh, 93. Yeah. Early, early, early drones, huh? They're on like a fucking gyrocopter. I mean, not really drones, but like zip line. I mean, yeah, that's that's a little helicopter drone. I didn't realize they had that back then. That's kind of that's kind of nuts. There he is, yeah. These cats you're going there, there he is, yeah. Fourth of July marathon. Tuesday, at four, starting at noon, only on Network. Yeah. Wow. The Macho Man himself advertising SWAT cats. Fucking hell. I watched some of that show too from time to time. Cheesecake's great when you're outside. Here comes fun and shaky slide. With reports of heavy cheese flooding in portions of Nebraska, a fish. It's Kraft macaroni and cheese. It really cheese gets flood? Your noodle going. The six tiny noodle babies went home today. Their parents. Noodle baby. The young noodles migrate upstream for their yearly spawn. Get the cheese for that! How is he, doctor? He's lost a lot of cheese. Wait. Cheesy pet. Wait. Just pour on the cheese. You won't believe it. Chat, that was, that was Jack again. It's a perfect spiral. That was another Rem Lazar moment. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Everybody's gotta have cheese. Kraft macaroni and cheese. Hang on. Cheesy. Yeah. He's lost a lot of cheese. That's him. Just it says it in the title here. You won't believe your eyes. Mental. Wait, did they take... 50-something-year-old Bowie and dress him up as his characters for this commercial. Yeah, they did. Oh, God, that's, oh, that's disturbing. Oh, the Diamond Dog one is, is really fucking disturbing. Good music choice, um, Mad Clown, for this commercial, as it is somewhat horror. Yeah, that's, that's a really... Yeah, is the wow. I mean, you can see it's old Bowie, but he still looks pretty good in some of them. Thin white Duke. Yeah, that's mental. What's the product? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the product is. Vitel, whatever the fuck that is. So you're the new crispy. Oh, it's water. Okay. Crispy center, chocolate. Two mm, chicks at the same time, mate. Must be proud. Oh, pig. Huh? Excuse me? Oh, could you just for one second put yourself in my place? That's him. That's that's the dude from um, Office Space. Well, he's in a bunch of things. Dietrich Bader. Mm. That's funny. <laughs> that, there goes your sister. I eat two oh. M&Ms at the same time. Whoa, what did... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's your first... That, there goes your sister. Oh. Ah, there's your cousin. Oh, that's your first date. Cheryl. All right, sold. 
Hello, this is Jay with some Dorito storage suggestions oh. for all you parents. Oh, Look, right. right now, you're probably hiding in that extra bag of Cool Ranch Doritos, someplace real original, like right there. behind the refrigerator or the refrigerator. The fondue pot. <laughs> fondue Look, pot. the right. trick is to hide Doritos to a tea chip someplace kids never go. Never go. Like near the lawnmower, behind a book, or in the back of any album recorded before 1964. So, parents, think these things out and crunch all you want. We'll make more. Yeah. Parents out of the room? Good. Okay, kids, here's the deal. Look, when you're looking for an extra bag of Cool Ranch Doritos, remember, lawnmower, book, or any album recorded before 64. <laughs> so go you've never gone before and crunch all you want. We'll make more. Crunch them up. <laughs> so these are kind of famous, the Jay Leno Doritos commercials, because he got so much shit for doing them. He was doing commercials at a time where it was actually not particularly cool to do commercials. Now, anyone could do... Oh, yeah, sellout. Um, the 90s had this ethos, especially the early 90s, to a degree, the late 80s as well, I would imagine, was like, if you do ads, you let your, your music be used in, in TV or commercials, you're a sellout. And the worst thing you could be was a sellout. And... Not to inject too much of my own personal opinion here, but I'm going to anyway. Now, the cool thing to do is pretend to do ad reads when you're on like TikTok and you're a kid. So, seems like we went from Jay Leno is a sellout for doing Doritos to get that bag, do it now. And I don't really, you know, whatever, do what you want. But um, yeah, Jay Leno, I remember uh, Dave Letterman made fun of him and every other comedian gave him shit for the Dorito commercials. That, that seemed to be a, a recurring theme in his life. People often ask, what's the real Bill Shatner like? I tell them, find out with Web TV. You could watch one of my many shows and be on the internet at the same time. I mean, time. Shatner was doing plenty of ads too. Shatner, the author. Willie the Cowboy. And yes, Bill the Rockstar. Of course, you could look up other websites and watch other shows. But why? Web TV service, the internet, and television Sounds about right. More. It sounds about right. Um, yeah, I mean, there's... And again, someone said, well, Jay Leno didn't need the money. There's other things. Jay Leno had a lot of um, bullshit because he was bullshit. And... Uh, there was a lot of stuff that didn't um, didn't make people like him very much, and his show was extremely safe. But to be you know to be fair to him, he said he got hired to do that particular job, so he just did that. But um, when it comes to Shat, that dude was always in commercials, always always advertising himself and other things. Priceline.com. Are you really a sellout if the commercials are the only work you're getting? Um. Well, I think it comes, this is again interrupting the segment a little bit, but I will just say my personal opinion on that is Shatner was still getting roles and Jay Leno had the Tonight Show. So you kind of have um, people who are doing the commercials and that's their only gig versus like well-known celebrities who are doing commercials for some extra cash. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't, I don't really care. I don't think. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh <laughs> Someone just said cringe compilation. <laughs> what was that commercial? <laughs> Holy fuck. Mmm, a little cheddar makes plain veggies taste better. But take the cheddar cheese away and you can just say... No way! Frodo, the cheese makes all don't the wear the ring. On all I know it's very tempting. Cheese makes all the difference. That is a young Mr. Woods. That's him. He was a child star who was doing a lot of really early acting who ended up surprisingly like hinged and kind of normal Ringo. <laughs> yeah i've seen this one before this is this is a classic 
Because it just means Apple in Japan. Ringo. I'm Steve-O, and this is the Sand Chug. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Dirty mouth. Clean it up with a new Orbit Mint Mojito. Fabulous. Mint For Mojito. A clean feeling. No matter what. And then slap your friend in the head with a fish. All right. It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? So that was Grace Jones. Let's just move on. Worth two, three, four, five. Starting right now, seeing a big alive on the kids WB snow day with bread and shows all morning. Age you wouldn't dream of Pokemon. Little bit of Batman <laughs> dropping in. A little bit of MIB shedding skin. A little bit of Shreedos, what I like. A little bit of Pikachu on the mic. It's all new and all wow. little with Lil Vega starting right now on the Kids WB Snow Jam. That is actually an amazing way to avoid DMCA. Mad Clown, you mad genius, you. I just didn't expect to hear Lou Vega say Pokemon. Portland General Electric offered to pay me to be in this commercial. I told them, I refuse to sell your product. They said, great. In fact, I said I would tell people to use less of it. And they said, perfect. I, I like that. Honestly, I like that because you know he got a fat paycheck for that. Good for him. Well, Zappa is an interesting character. That's a whole discussion. I barely even... I barely even know where to begin, and I still need to do my own research on Zappa because he's got so many albums. That's a Vinny moves as a chat member. <laughs> I, yeah, maybe. Mitsuya Saida! Bueno. 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 We're no strangers to love We know the rules And so do I No commitment What I'm thinking of That's him That's Rick himself Rick Roll himself Meat Jessica Simpson, that's a name and a face I've not heard or seen in a long time. The amazing new four for all pizza from Pizza Hut for only eleven ninety nine. Jessica. Yeah. Someone in chat just said these sucked, by the way. Listen, I'm of the opinion that getting a Muppet to sell your product is 50% more likely to get me to be interested in said product. I'm not going to stop dumping my batteries. I'm not going to stop dumping my batteries in the lake. However, I will buy the pizza, Walter. Oh, Stylo. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's Bruce. Didn't they do a CG Bruce for a couple commercials at one point? Somewhat recently? Or am I imagining that? Because I was looking at that 
trying to figure out if that was CGI Bruce. I watched it, didn't I? Yeah. That, I think, was real Bruce with a bunch of post-processing. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the man we all know and love, Charles Barkley! Topic! That dude was in nothing but trouble. Hoppy hop. Look, man, I'm just a rapper, okay? I don't know. I don't know. Sure, two or two teammates. Got him pimping. Michael Jordan. Wrong. Who ain't doing? Your two or two teammate, David uh, Robinson. Charles Barkley. Wrong. Quick kiss it up to the host. The correct answer is Alonzo Morning. I, I always wanted to know why this guy had a gold He's nose. Fearless. And I never got an answer He's from anyone. Devastating. He's gone, though. He broke my coffee cup. You know, if I was as big as Alonzo, I'd be a leader. Well, now I know why he has a gold nose. Puerto Rico. I have bigger shoes. Because it really makes me ask why shoes. he has a gold nose. A bigger hot tub. Bigger hat. A bigger fan club. And a bigger snob. And a bigger logo. Straight butter, baby. I mean, yeah, I remember him. Of course, it's a really good gimmick. Uh, if you want, what well, you should you should watch the movie Nothing But Trouble. Chat Dan Aykroyd's wonderful movie with Chevy Chase, where Dan Aykroyd at one point plays he plays an old man. Um, it's the it's a really wonderful film, and he's got a penis nose in the movie at one point. So I would recommend you should watch that because Tupac is in it and Digital Underground, um, and John Candy's in it. It is a movie that I would recommend. What? Chat, you're confused about the penis notes? How Good movie. All marriages in, in the wars? Because they're not eating the donuts. Don't get the divorce, get the donut. Giant so Mutant Babies are in, the, yeah, that movie as well, correct. Glazed twig, glazed donut, rainbow sprinkle donut. Baby, I love it when you talk donut. Hey, get a room. Get a donut. <laughs> I had to call my wife. Suddenly, George Lopez out of nowhere. There was so much. By the way, apparently George Lopez got divorced a couple months after this commercial, according to the note I have here. Cinnamon crumb donut, chocolate raisin donut, old fashioned buttermilk donut, chocolate buttercream filling, banana. Ah, it's getting hot. That's not a donut. I can go through a donut. We are open 23-7. We only close from 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. Do I have to tell you what's going to happen during that hour? Making donuts. Get the donut print, Oh, it's Lincoln Red again. Avenue, Burbank, California, well, one of them. Yeah, it's both Don't of them. Don't get the divorce, get the donut. Didn't they, they did that with a ton of commercials, didn't they? Just bizarre commercials. I'm Dr. Dreadful, and you found my alien Norse. autopsy. Wait, what? It makes lots of gruesome goodies that will make your stomach flip. You it's found them. Tastes great. Delicious. Gross. You can bring your guts to That life. was like actual Norse. Eats alive. Eats alive. Yum. That's yeah. him. You'll also love my terrifying test tube. Drink it if you dare. I thought he was going to say terrifying testicles. It's totally that's actually the mold. Alien autopsy and test tube set sold separately from you imagine. That is not included. You, how did you make Nortz talk? First of all, two things. I thought he was going to say delicious testicles. And then I thought the name of the company was Umunga. And the, all of this commercial has just broke my brain. That's CG. Not they, they didn't like puppeteer him. They made it. So, okay, also, the commercial we watched earlier with the scientist and the gross stuff that you can eat, I think it's the same actor. That's actually Nortz before you adopted him. I was at a fireworks store for no reason whatsoever in Pennsylvania, and there were two Nortz on the wall. One Nort, I was just taking a look. One Nort was on the wall near the Breaking Bad fireworks. And then on a separate wall was another Nort. 
And oh, and they're the bad guys because they're abducting people and putting shut, uh, stuff up their ass. No, I don't. I don't buy that. All right. Anyway, we've got some poop for you. <laughs> That's an amazing start. <laughs> oh God, DMCA. Song of satisfaction. Perfect. <laughs> what was that, Nirvana? Yeah, 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 it's lithium. <laughs> this isn't my house. I'm a stuff can get in there. J Shut up, fool. My wife. He broke my coffee cup. This is madness. Can I just get shot? I didn't go stop. Remember that. And remember Shut up, fool. How are all? All marriages. He broke my coffee cup. You talk about work. Me. <laughs> I, you know what, chat? It never lived up to the promise of the first frame. Like, you could just loop that over and over and over again. Great. All right. Um, let's see how, how we're doing on time. I don't know. If you're enjoying yourselves, I guess we've got plenty more commercials. You, you want to do this, chat? Local and worldwide. The Golf Ball Outlet and Fireworks Mega Store is the place for your fourth That's of July. That's not the fireworks. one North was at. Not only do we offer a huge selection, we have all the big stuff. And you can watch exactly what you're getting on our unique in store computer station. We'll even throw in a free world class fireworks cap. We eat, drink, and sleep fireworks. Some people think we might go a little too far, but you don't have to go too far. Just <laughs> exit date on I-95 in Hardyville. The golf ball out in Fireworks Mega Go too far. Oh, gotta go. Go too far. Where, where, where is that? Is that Pennsylvania? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, PA. Makes sense. I, Chad, don't get horny for the bee. Алейна – лучший выбор для домашней консервации. Свое, родное, натуральное. What a weird commercial that is. That one's... Oh, 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 Hardyville was South Carolina. Sorry, chat. That one was Russia. This one is Are Sierra Leone. For the best energy drink, Bitsa Cola Energizer is a perfect replacement with no calories. Real energy Wait, drink. is it... No side effects. What the fuck? No alcohol. Natural energy drink. Are they green screened in? They were in the same room? I thought they were green screened. Pizza Cola Energizer gives power. <laughs> Strength and stamina. And it contains no caffeine. Pizza Cola Energizer is made by selected natural apps. Be sure. The editing is unfucking real. Before buying it. Bitter Cola Energizer, the best energy oh, drink. Oh, we got lens flares world. now, chat. Bitter Cola Energizer. Oh, I'm sold. Is Smoke and lens flares product. and fireworks. Full of energy. Cola Energizer, the home of power. No calories, no side effects. No. No alcohol, no calories, caffeine, side effects, no CO2 okay. gas. Only CO2 energy. CO2 gas? What are you talking about? Real they put that in there? Drink. That's like my Dan Aykroyd bit. produced by Cardco Serial Limited. Crystal head vodka, absolutely no terpenes, no gasoline, no lighter fluid. Oh, carbonation. That makes sense. 
No lighter fluid. No yak blood. 100% pure, filtered through diamonds. Hey, honey, why don't we ever go out anymore like we used to? Well, I've been really busy. Plus, we have to find someone to watch the kids. Oh. We just need to I've do seen it. this commercial many well, years ago. kids? Here's to a much-deserved night out. Cheers. Mom and Dad, look at that! The Pizza Tower serves the best pizza in town with fresh, never frozen pizza tower. pasta, homemade sauce, plus fresh calzone, sandwiches, and pastas. At the Pizza Tower, you really can enjoy a night out. Original Pizza Tower, by the way, chat. Interesting, um... <laughs> what about the kids? Here's to a much deserved night Here is, out. Here's, here's to a much deserved night out. Mom and Dad, look at that! The Pizza Tower serves the best. I'm in jail. <laughs> Relax. I know to call. Good luck. Okay. So, host? Wait, who's this? Can I say? You'll be happy. You call Grumpy's. Grumpy's mailbox? We spring. Even before the toast is done. <laughs> they just started dancing. Okay, I thought there was like an Always Sunny skit happening here. No, seriously, like you can see there's Mac. Charlie's in there somewhere. D. This music is oppressive. But why spinning babies? It's pasta sauce, but why spinning babies? Gas. The, I guess the roller coaster gets you high. Is the implication here? I would be disappointed if I went and I wasn't given nerve agent. From Nairobi to Santa, we need to meet now. Nairobi, Santa. Where's the sleigh? Where's the snow? That's what we want to talk about. Cookies, milk. So, what can Santa do for you? <laughs> Put an accent on that Santa. <laughs> Mafia That's Santa. A tall order. Remember, Santa, we're on the nice list. If we can get snow on Christmas Day, we'll give away the furniture. How much snow are we talking about? See, if we get five or more inches of snow on Christmas Day, then furniture and mattresses bought at Cardi's in July are free. Christmas in July. Original. But before I sign, Santa gets asked for lots of things. World peace, true location Will. of Elvis. I can't do everything, <laughs> but I can give something. Wait, what was that about Elvis? What can we do in case it doesn't snow? Cardi's customers will get 20% of their purchase back toward a future purchase. Also, this looks mm, like Bob Hoskins Mario. That's an interesting proposal, Nairobi. So what do you say, Santa? Everyone wins. Everyone who buys furniture and mattresses in July. You have a deal. Are there two oh. Marios? What? Is it real? Oh, go ahead. Oh, nice. You know, I guess that's Luigi. Late. They couldn't afford a legit Luigi. Let's get the decorations. Chad, this is the universe where the Super Mario Brothers movie from 93 was ultra successful and they did a bunch of spin-offs like the Star Wars holiday special. This is the Super Mario's 93 holiday special. Also, in regards to that previous roller coaster, a chat member said that there was an accident on it at some point. Um, and that, unfortunately, some people maybe lost their legs. 
and there was death. Oh my God. <laughs> Whew. Great music choice. No one died in the accident, but there were horrible injuries. Got it. Understood. Oh no, the gnome. Oh no. Oh no, he just cemented his own car that he won. Even Apple Doon Boon. There's like a lot of drama in that one minute. It's better than some movies I've seen. Sometimes it's about the process. No! Sometimes it's about the ingredients. What? And sometimes. It's about pouring the perfect beer. What is this? But in the end, it's always about... What are you talking about? <laughs> what's, wrong, what's wrong with this thing? Family ales, every glass tells a story told by the people who make it. Wait, was that person wearing who drink it. a shirt Shared with, with these scummy faces too? Willow Stanley Ales, welcome to the family. Located at basically Fifth and Peoria. Oh, okay. It's the Delicate Steve guy? All right. By Joe Kappa, the creator of the Gabagooblians. Gabagooblins. Oh, sire? Chat, I'm pretty sure I saw Guns N' Roses use your illusion shirt, but instead of... Oh, never mind. I thought the, like the the scummy they went as far as to print out alternate reality versions of bands so that they could um add the fucked up faces to like famous shirts but I was okay, wrong. Okay team, we're down by 6 with only one play left. It's comeback time. Yeah. yeah. We need a play. The reverse ribeye. No good. The porter house pitch. Too risky. The strip steak sweep. That's <laughs> it. Go Russell. Russell. We've seen this guy before. Down. This guy's a like classic. Be my guest and let us do the rest. Goofy, silly. And you know what? I would remember it. My name is Cecil. I'll sell you gas or oh, diesel no. cars. On my lot. Some of them new, some of them not. I got a tricked out crew. They got one job to do. Tend to your needs, take good care. Make sure they treat you honest and fair. So many deals, far and above. One of these babies you're sure to love. Come Rap find God. Car and we'll do our part. Because I'm Cecil Myers, the dealer with a heart. And he can rhyme orange and door hinge. Um, that's from St. Joseph M.O. Previous one was Buffalo N.Y. <laughs> やっぱりこれだな。ちょっと待った。カップヌードルより辛い飯。いや。こっちも美味しそうだけ。ご飯待ったら出来上がり。混ぜると無駄にうまくなる。すすらなくていいから食べさせやすい。美味しい。えっと
Adventure's Great American Celebration. Everyone has a superhero deep inside. If we all work together, we can make a difference. To support our American manufacturers, one sale at a time. Join us for Murphy Furniture's oh my God. Great American Celebration. Oh no, it's high price, guy. He won't stand Kill him, kill him. Stay tuned for the continuing adventures of Furniture Woman and Accessory Girl. Well, the story's concluded. It took three seconds and the story concluded. We don't need more. Um, by the way, for anyone just joining, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, mobile, mobile ads are up next. So if you're looking for those. And also, the, the Grimace commercials. There's a folder with just Grimace commercials. <laughs> we can't escape this motherfucker today, huh? All right, no problem. Hi, I'm John Spiegel. How can I help you? Yeah, hi. We've already Don't worry, they're vetted. Research. They're vetted. This is the car we want to buy. Now we just need your best price. Do you want my precious? What? No one can have my precious. Um, I mean, I can ask my manager, but my precious. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Car buying doesn't have to be scary. At Don Joseph Toyota in Kent, we list our best price on Kent, our Ohio. Used, used car inventory right on our website. Visit us at djtoyota.com. That was still a better Gollum impression than the one from the game. That's two Gollum. So Gollum and Grimace. For research. That's a buddy comedy. We got to get that movie now made. I need your best price. You want my precious? That is a disturbing face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm not. I'm fine. Artillery shells, Roman candles, firecrackers, bottle rockets. Get yours. West Virginia Fireworks out. Look for the red building off Route 460 in Princeton. Hell yeah. Bang. Bam. Boom. Please note, if you're of this age, do not set off fireworks. Please. Got a minute? We want to show you something really hot. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is a wrong commercial. <laughs> Come see the Bang Bang Lady on the hottest deals around. Okay. Buy one, get we're, we're doing that, are we? I, I see Boom Boom for the biggest display of 500 grams. Many new items. Now that's hot. Come see Bang Bang. And Boom Boom. That's my work outlet. <laughs> now that's hot. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. Did they put a, a, wait, 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 a fire engine in the commercial? You'll need one after this. By the way, I have hiccups, chat. I have hiccups at the moment. How do I stop this? They came out of nowhere. I haven't had hiccups in years. Hold breath. Okay. Folks, hi. This is Brent Town of Country Furniture. Folks, we're beating down the competition with lower prices here at Town of Country Furniture. Come on in. Woo! How about this die-cast <laughs> sectional for only $5.99? <laughs> Folks, come on into town and country furniture and see this beautiful five-piece bedroom suit for only $5.99. Come on down to town and country where we're beating down the competition. Corner of 303 and Carrier Parkway, Grand Prairie, Texas. Okay. Um, I don't know if that worked, but I'm not hip. Uh, hip uh, Save on everything at Christmas in July. H H H H H H H H Greg. Panasonic Blu-ray, ninety-nine dollars. H H H H H H H H Greg. Thirty-two inch LCD TV, two ninety-nine. LG forty-two inch HD TV, four eighty-nine. These lyrics don't work. Everything's on sale during Christmas in July. H H H H. A snowball in. I am honestly glad he is dead. H H Greg. Oh, these fucking babies again. No, oh, oh, get them out of the screen. I don't want to see them anymore. They're real weird. Huh. The babies are thumbs. Okay. Oh, 
Uh oh. Uh, can confirm. We're out of beer. We're out of beer. What are we gonna We're do? Out of beer. Yeah, everyone here sounds like Macho Man. Confirmed. I got this. Are you going to Bayonne? Oh, New Jersey. Yeah. What are we gonna do? We're so out of beer. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> I got this. That's me at the parties. I've never even heard of this place. Vinny, visiting New York soon. Do you have any short list of cool stuff to do or see? Yeah, this place. I can't believe this. Come on. By the way, the going to New Jersey thing was um, to get, I think, what, tax free beer, if I'm not mistaken? Should have went to bridge. Don't go over the bridge. Bridge beverage. <laughs> Don't go over the bridge. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. They're they're like liquor stores that I know a lot of people go to in Jersey so they can pay less for their alcohol. So that's actually kind of a, a very smart regional commercial, but I would I would probably not go there to be honest. This is Wyoming. Place where the stronger Oof, tested get a pop the filter. Perish. A place that demands excellence and nothing comes easy. This is cowboy wrestling, and this is living cowboy tough. Could have just delivered the dialogue in that room on the shotgun mic or the boom. Like, if you're going to say this is the p place. Yeah, you need a fucking pop filter, man. Anyway, Ram Ranch, X, 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 18 X, X, Naked Cowboys and all that. Chad, they did this for real. I can tell. I'm telling you, old ladies love to ride hog. This is real commercial. This is Mark, the furniture guy in Hamilton. It's our patriotic duty this time of year to bring you a Wrinkly Kong told me. savings. Just in time for the 4th of July. A reclining sofa, regularly $8.99, blowout $5.99. Or a 78-inch solid dining set, regularly $11.99, blowout $7.99. At Bitterroot Furniture, we're blowing out the prices to make this the most incredible 4th of July ever. Everyone's doing a blowout. Dalek. Or is it Dalek? Dalek. And Gelada Tanagra. <laughs> oh my god. How does that even work? Oh, it works all right. Not the product you would expect a Dalek to uh, advertise, huh? Dude, I'm hungry. Well, why don't we give Big Al's Pizza a call? I heard they're the best pizza in town. All right. By the way, this is an Alaskan commercial. How's an Alaskan pizza? Anyone have it? <laughs> I said Big Al's Pizza, not Big Owl's Pizza. Oh my. For the best pizza in town, make sure you get the name and number right. Big Al's Pizza, 452-7200. They knew that was funny, so they put a laugh track. I enjoyed that. No way. No way. We must destroy the mother toilet. No we way. Must stand for a toilet takeover. We've got bowel movement. <laughs> on all frequencies. 
Alpha team, status report. I can see them on the toilet now. No! The toilets have taken over the squad commander. He's been covered in mud. That's not mud. <laughs> it must be dominated. Come with me if you want to flash. Oh my god. We got the white feet. For all your plumbing, AC, and drain needs, just call Radiant. Come on, what are you doing? Pick up the phone now. I. Oh man, that might be the commercial of the night for me so far. And and all pretty solid Arnold impressions. You've got terrible green screen. You've got an actual miniature toilet prop with teeth. I'm assuming. I mean, it could be a composite. I, I, that, you, you got, that's not mud. You got, wow. Action, lasers, excitement, and shit. What a wonderful commercial that was. That's from Austin, Texas, too. Okay. Was it wait wait was the ass moving? What the fuck am I looking at? I don't understand what I'm. Why were why were the asses moving and the hair was weird? I don't really even know what it's a commercial for. Insurance. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Any accident I portrayed in a commercial, I'm just going to assume it's insurance from here on out. <laughs> Man, Pixar has nothing on this. <laughs> Jesus. I like I like a little Sapporo once in a while too, by the way. No, nah, don't, don't worry, Chad. That's not a commercial. That's not a real commercial. I was going to play that at some other random point, but I figured that was the right time for it. So, <laughs> They said it could be done, but I will do it. Russell Jumps America. This is a piece of cake, or should I say steak? Attempting the impossible this guy again. from the U.S. Capitol to Lady Liberty. Me for death, never. Watch as the world collectively holds its breath. He does his own stunts. Be my guest and let us do the rest. I'm telling you, yeah, he does his own stunts, that guy. Amazing. Yes. 
Yes, but I'm no, no, no. He stole it from us. <laughs> <laughs> Are you tonguing the ring? Alsjeblieft. Ook daarom koop je bij bol.com. Vandaar vind je echte trailers, maar ook reviews en inkijkexemplaren die je op de brengen. I think people were just submitting an abundance of Gollum commercials after I played the game. My precious, I wish to tongue the ring. No, you stupid fuck. Grumpy's Bell Bond has busted out all over Middle Tennessee. Wait. Serving 23 Middle Tennessee counties. Wait a minute. That's right. Grumpy's Bell Bonds has grown bigger to serve you better. Wait. In jail? Need bail? Call me. I'll set you free. Wait. With the fastest, friendliest, most affordable service anywhere in Tennessee. I guarantee uh. you'll be happy you call Grumpy's. Wait a minute. We ring, we spring. Chat, I, I don't even know what that woman's face looked like. You want to know what will happen in the next millennium? Call me now at 696-3039. I'll help you. Love problems? Health problems? Hello? Hi, sir. This is Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, where are you calling from? Yeah, this is really a miracle, sir. And thank God my brother works in Telefonica and told me otherwise nobody will call you. Listen, We're gonna make some meth soon, Walter. Every number must be dialed after a four. And if you call Buenos Aires from the interior instead of zero one, you'll have to dial zero one one. Uh, let's correct this, director. Place a four before the number perfect. Now change to zero one. That's it. That's great. Now let's use that little map in the background to focus on Argentina, please, because there's more to say. If you call the South, you must dial two after zero. If you call the North, three after zero. Now, how are you getting on with numerology, buddy? Uh, you failed, right? What is going on? That that was a lot of words and very confusing. I, I hated it. <laughs> Honestly, that was terrible. And action. Paula's donuts, you know what I mean? The apple, the cinnamon, the peanut cream. Paula's. Okay, I mean, then you get that, which is 10 seconds. I mean, you, you have two opposite ends of the commercial spectrum right there for local ads. Pepsi presents Saag Alpinas. And that was Buffalo, New York. Previous one was Argentina. This one is Philippines. That's a banana. Wait, are those boards? Fucking hell, Gord. Soap on a rope. Like zucchini. It's a mix of Pepsi Man and and um what's the uh, Yakuza game? Suddenly clowns. I, you could spice up any commercial with clowns. Though. I think you can add them to pretty much anything. Wait. Become Judas? And then a snake? <laughs> They're doing literal versions of idioms. Oh, that makes sense. Well, it doesn't really, but I get what you're saying. Wait, 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 wait. And then it ends with Pagong Pepsi penis? <laughs> no, don't, don't do that. That was a pretty good commercial. <laughs> it's the 4th of July sale at Stephanie on 4th right now. Buy 
Probably shouldn't be holding fountains like that. I, I wouldn't recommend that. I'm sorry, what did you say? I barely understood the words. Oh, because it's not English. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean it's English? No, I heard Pero. Oh. Oh my God. I I played myself twice. I wasn't paying attention to the words on the screen the first time around, chat. I was just hoping that she wasn't going to blow her hands off with those fountains. <laughs> my God. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah, where are we going? Don't worry, you're going to have a blast. The gun warehouse and range Yeehaw. offers self-defense training, handgun classes, even this martial arts. Nice, easy trigger pull. You can learn to shoot right here at the indoor range. And while you're here, you can even shop for accessories. That was accessories. Way more fun I know, right? The gun warehouse and range, industry road, and online. You know what this reminds me of? Did anyone see the most recent Red Letter Media Best of the Worst? With the um it was like a VHS tape of like um what was it called? It was like self gun self defense and women. For women, it was such a weird fucking like tape because it wasn't even it could have been just general to humans. Like I don't know why they did that either, but yeah. Kind of reminds me of that. A recent photograph of Leah Hewlin is causing quite a stir. And having some folks feeling, well, a little grumpy. She's just a little too flashy for the town square. It's a little ostentatious for this town. All that pink is so bold. Those things aren't real. Leah, thanks for joining us. What would you like to say to all of our viewers? Well, after hearing all the fuss, I've considered toning things down. But who am I kidding? I'm proud of who I am. <laughs> and grumpy, when you win, you scream. Grumpy, please. Grumpy, please. Put these things away. I'm trying to learn on the television. That's why I watch. I want to learn. I need to learn and I need to be educated. <laughs> Монгол түмний уламжлалт их баяр цаан сар хаян дэрлээ. Эрч би могой жилдээ үсэн дэлжиж аравчин дэл ирхийг ирөөж намын супермаркетийн бүх салбар, намын агуул худалдаа болон намын орон нутгийн салбаруудаар хэрэгжүүлэх хөдөлгөөн олонд картын бонус 2 дахин үржигдэн орох болно. Та үрсэн бонусаа Монголия долооноос өмнө амжиж ашиглаарэ. Эхэнд таршны мэдгэлээ намын гос болох. Ой. I understand that it was trying to keep things kind of like happy, but that that just made me real. I I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. Something gormless, sure. Why not? I'm the first president of the USA, and I make cars clean like every day. I speak soft and carry a big stick. Your car will look sick when I'm done with it. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Using a broom on the windows? I'll emancipate the dirt from this hatchback. Presidential, 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 presidential. Come I wrote the Declaration of Independence. I'm a wax this mini van with a vengeance. My side burns are real. For shuzzle, sucking up for shuzzle. my vacuum nozzle. I veto streaks with my buffing technique. Buff, buff, buff. I'm a buffing freak. If you're riding dirty, just drop on in. Holla back, homeboy, when you're dirty again. Presidential, 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 presidential. presidential. Car wash. Holla, 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 holla. Make it rain, Roger. I'm making it rain. No one makes it rain like Roger. Don't hate the player. I, and don't hate the car wash also. Wait, wait, what was that? Was this like a blink going on here at the end? 
the car wash also. Uh, okay. Fuck. Amazing commercial. It's Rhett and Link. Yeah, but were they in it? Normally, when Rhett and Link do a commercial, they're in it. Oh, they're in it. God damn it. Fuck, I, didn't, I missed them that time, chat. <laughs> yeah. All right. We can do the poop now. Here's the poop, everybody, for world and local commercials. What do you mean you don't agree with me? Do you know who you're dealing with? Holy shit. We're so out of beer. Do it. <laughs> I gotta see this dude beat with his precious Do every it. time. Man, this is a wrong commercial. I should have went to bridge. <laughs> I should have went to bridge. Wait a minute, this is a wrong. <laughs> What is oh the gobble goblins? That's them. Yeah. Oh. Cindy, let's see. We should we so we wish you peace and happiness and everything. And the more time I spend six nine, and this is living cowboy. Time. Fresh never frozen, but precious. Somebody touch your Oh, the big I don't see a guy anymore. No, no more of that guy. The fucking pre presents. <laughs> This is the best poop we've had in here. Because it's, you know what? He, again, Mad Clown went through and cut out good moments from the commercials and created a folder called Fertilizers for YouTube Poop. Okay? So, in order to get good YouTube Poop, he had to go through and handpick moments. So, like, Mad Clown, you do not have to do this. You're going above and beyond for this crusty segment. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing, but that seems like a lot of work. I mean, I'm I'm gonna pay you, but you know, still above and beyond. Paid chat member confirmed. Everybody, all right. <clears throat> Mobile time. Uh, we've also got some. Oh, some non-video mobile. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Let's start with the the videos. We, we apologize. apologize. For selling expensive monthly cards. For setting such low odds of five star heroes. For marketing with false ads. To make it up to you. We're hereby giving to you the CD key IH777. 43 drawers are all yours to claim. If this deal couldn't get you the desired heroes, come for me. What? Play different, go idle. <laughs> You're not even playing. Um, wow, an apology video. That is new. I don't think I've seen a mobile. It's getting very meta. It's getting very meta. Not enough ukulele. Yeah. Okay. Is, is this music? Arthas? A little puppet show. Nope. Nah. Nah, still nothing. I can't see anything. Come on. We can do talk about rare things. Don't talk now, but I can see Pokemon.
fail. This isn't Pokemon Go. Monster Park. Grow up runner 3D with this guy. All right, great. Is that a sexy nun sniper rifling a vampire? of darkness download for and then dancing i'm so numb to these ads like it this is like very tame it makes no sense but it's still very very tame what there could have been food there <laughs> oh now that looks delicious but there's Where? room for more now i have enough to build my home base Oh man, these snails don't like building on their turf. This is Get one of my favorite genres of mobile bad. game ad. All right, now let's merge these guys together. Fake cringe fluencers. Oh, I'm taking over now. This yard is mine. He's gonna say, "Let's go" at some point, <laughs> isn't he? Download Ant Legion. And join no. In on the action. Just stay out of my yard. Okay. Someone said I want Vinny to do one of these. I should. I should do a fake one. I just need someone who knows 3D. Animation. Make make the shittiest, weirdest. Do if anyone here wants to make a terrible, like bizarre CG, um, fifteen second mobile game ad with like a fake game and have it be even more bizarre than this. I will add my cringe fluencing skills against a green screen in front of it and and do the thing, and my phone will be off, and I will be sure to show the phone at one point. Um, I cannot pay you for this, but it would be a sick meme, bro. Anyway, let's continue. Sierra, Please, no, do not actually do this. What? What is that? Remember this. I H seven seven. This is this fucking code again. C D key. And some of your dreamy heroes. H seven seven seven. Why did we get a terrible splatter thing? Let me get this. Nice Adobe enhanced there too. Toilet monsters hiding. Well, gee, man. What do you mean? <laughs> no. No! No! That's the meme. Chat, that's the meme. That can't be real. That can't be real. I have hiccups again. This is not an ad. It is... Yeah, it can't be an ad. I actually have... They scared the hiccups back into me. The original creator of that meme actually made a mobile game. Wow. It's time to drink water. 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 Oh, man, my brain is so fucking broken right now. Apparently that is, oh, it's a parody. It's a real memes parody. I don't know anymore, chat. You could tell me this is a parody. I'd believe it. Banana shenanigans? What does that mean? Is that a new uh, phrase that we have discovered here <laughs> apparently there was undertale music there too okay great stolen music
It it says the name of this commercial is Mike Stoklaza made this ad. <laughs> what, eating, just eating the rats, eh? Wow, fun game. Choose number that is bigger than your number and you lose. Big, yeah, big brain. That's the biggest brain of all the games. <laughs> Ghost talked? Farted? All right. A lot of weird noises going on in that one. I don't. Uh, I don't I think I want to install that. I feel like that is just gonna like record whatever you're saying, like when you're sleep talking, and send it to some company, and have them use it for ads. Wait a minute. Is that how they got that footage? Hmm. It's one of these fucking commercials again, except it looks different this time. King is frozen. Fail. Cancel. Would you like to cancel? Yes. Yes. Canceling your passport and birth certificate. What? No. How did you have permission to do that? Permission to leak your feed pics? My feed. <laughs> Sending feed pics to everyone in your contact. <laughs> This is illegal. Something illegal is happening? Alerting the FBI. Yeah, something illegal is happening. You just blew up that Wendy's. Okay, should I what? send this to the FBI? I just blew up a Wendy's. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Home flip crazy jump master. I... Uh, possibly stolen audio yet again. And also, I just don't understand it. I mean, I'm just laughing at the absurdity of all of this, but holy fuck. Sir, I just blew up. This isn't a Wendy's. Magnum Quest? What? Oh, that's disturbing. Yeah, the, I don't like... I don't like the way this is making my brain feel. Magnum Quest. Download now. Oh, apparently also stolen animations there. Of course. Um, two non-video mobile ads, such as this. Do this to get hard instantly. Do this trick to get hard instantly. Wish I knew this before it changed my... Wish I knew this before it changed my life. What the fuck do you mean? Please note, never fucking do this. Thank you. And uh, also... Wingstop official promoted... Sometimes wings are the only cure. When my team misses a free throw during playoffs and I'm comfort eating wing stops so hard I eat the wrapper. Okay, first of all, why did they do Germa dirty like this? And second, I don't think they have the rights to his image. Someone said, I think that's an AI generated Germa. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, in any case, also awful. 
Now, chat, I didn't know this was going to happen, but there's a Grimace folder in here. So, enjoy. Get yourself ready for a trip McDonald's. Oh, this is like Willy Wonka. One type day, shit. Ronald and his friends spotted evil Grimace running off with loads of shakes and ah, Wait, 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 wait. How many Quickly, arms does Grimace Ronald have? Himself as a big or or, or, or are those director. pouches? Ah, really zesty. Took a shortcut and headed off to Grimace at Belay of Fish Lake. Wait! Shouted Oh, he's got four arms. Oh! What a face with beautiful eyes. Is that real? Is that canon? A star. The evil Grimace was very flattered. Wait, he's evil? Stepping back a bit. Little further, asked Ronald. Just a little bit further. Splash! You were sensational, shouted Ronald. And so are these McDonald's shakes and Coca Colas and hamburgers and French fries. And this, there's so much to unpack here. 1971. There you go. There you go. Wow. Forearmed evil grimace, the voice, the 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 music. It's like straight out of the fucking 60s, but it's 71, so of course it is. It's perfect. McDonald Land. Green butterflies. I'm green footprints. Only two arms. Hello, boys. I'm back, and I'm painting everything green to be shamrock shakes. Shamrock shakes are back? Yummy. Let's celebrate at McDonald's. Shamrock shakes, they're a beautiful green. The most beautiful green that we've ever seen. Shamrock shakes, they're a beautiful green. Ooh, I don't like that grimace. Uh, I don't like that one at all. I'm actually not a fan of that grimace. Wait, what? There's more? Hi, Grimace. Where you going? Just gonna soak up a little sun. Well, while you're soaking up a little sun, we'll soak up some McDonald's frosty thick shakes. Can you move more like an asshole in that suit? We will. Trust me, we'll just keep doing takes until we get the right asshole movement. Oh, I don't know. I don't understand why Grimace is in clothing. But no other time is Grimace wearing clothes. Oh my toasty. Quick, let's get him to McDonald's. McDonald's frosty thick shakes ought to That'll do it. <laughs> Not the hospital. Get him to McDonald's. How about another chocolate strawberry and vanilla shake? Well, I certainly hope you learned something from this, Grimace. Oh, I certainly have. Yeah, just Google Grimace inflation if you want to learn more about this commercial. <laughs> Ronald McDonald and friends in the Hamburglar Touch. Ronald Cheeseburgers! That Hamburglar wishes everything he touches would turn to McDonald's cheeseburgers. Now, these are the McDonald's commercials I kind of remember. This was still before my time. This is 84, but... Touch! Ronald McCheeseburgers! Don't touch Grimace! Oh, boy. Touch my face. Ronald, Ronald. It's a good time. Oh, the good <laughs> Ronald, Ronald. Touch your cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's what he says when he's going? Presenting Ronald McDonald in How I Met Grimace. Oh, yeah. Tell us. Well, a long time ago, there I was, a little baby in my big buggy. <laughs> When all of a sudden, uh, oh, oh, hello, lots to do, can't stop now. <laughs> Hopper McHamburgers. Oh, it's like Mario Kart. I really thought. But it's, it's Baby Grimace and Baby Ronald. Time's coming, little purple kid. Purple? Uh, wee! <laughs> I was just about to stop him. What happened, Ronald? He went into the drain. The Wubby Dubby Dub. Row, row, row. There's so much lore. How do we piece all this together, though? <laughs> Like from the auspicious beginnings all the way to mega fame and then horror icon. I had an idea. And then snuff film star. Grimace was headed right towards me when McDonald's. Oh boy! I'll stop for McDonald's shake. Okay. And that's how I met Grimace, the friends forever. What a great day for a picnic. Here are the cheeseburgers. Uh, and okay, yeah, this is probably more my time. Yeah. Yahoo! 
Ed Millie and Aunt Tilly. Oh, God, God Grimace, Grimace has ants. Oh, no. Ants to a picnic. We just show up. <laughs> Have you got everything? Yep, I got my Doug pen, my clip on pork chop, and my light oh, up Oh, bonus Doug uh, material Doug's movie. Now on for video. Doug's first movie. Wow. Only at McDonald's. But you've got your pants. Oh, oh did somebody say McDonald's? Were there ever any more Doug movies? Was that all, Doug's only movie? Uh-oh. Douglas, the movie lost a lot of money. I need you to just have a seat for a moment because I have something very difficult to explain to you. Well, Douglas, we lost about $43 million. And, well, you're going to be in debt the rest of your life. Ha-ha! <laughs> Douglas. Very expensive movie, Douglas. <laughs> it's McDonald's, though. Is that how you say it? All right, here we go. Late 60s, early 70s. It was a gloomy day in McDonald's land. No Coke. He said no shakes. Burgers. Because the evil grimace had grabbed all evil the again. cups. And he's holding cups in his many arms. Where were the shakes? Thinking the Ronald described himself as a mailman. And a special delivery for E. Grimace. Oh, 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 my. Ah, I've been picked for the McDonald Land Beauty Contest. <laughs> this this fucking voice. Class. Taking his nicest swimsuit, off he went. Now, let's get these cups back to McDonald's so we can have some triple thick shakes and icy cold Coca Cola. Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Where's the contest? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, don't spread your thick legs, Grimace, please. Whatever you do. Grimace in Storyland. Wow, I'm in Storyland. Uh-oh, I'd better go keep an eye on Grimace. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood. Did Grimace walk this way? No, he walked this way. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. There's so much the McDonald's content dish that shows up on the food. stream Fee on Sundays. Fee -foo. Come on, Grimace. It's time to get back. Oh, boy. Lunch at McDonald's. I knew you liked happy endings. What? That's right, Ronald. I love to go into a massage parlor that's open till 4 a.m. Somewhere right off the Qu uh, BQE near the Queensboro Bridge. That's right. I like to go into that specific one, Ronald, all the way at the end of the night. And I wear a little trench coat and sunglasses. And I get in there. And then I... Oh... I got a big cake, Ronald. <laughs> oh, that's not funny. I hope I get purple skates. Here I come. This is chat right now. <laughs> Watching this. <laughs> Monsters! McDonald's. I put these three things in the same category. The heroic characters from the new DreamWorks movie, Monsters vs. Aliens, are out to save the world. Excuse me, can I order a salad? You can find one in your McDonald's Happy Meal. Okay. No He's grimace in this commercial. Just an alien. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. We got him last second. He just got back from the massage parlor. Good for him. Green, gosh, so I am. My feet green, my hands green. <laughs> I'm turning green all green? over. Green? 
Oh well, I always turn green about this time of year when McDonald's Old video. Has delicious green shamrock shakes. Could I try one? I've never had a green shake before. Sure, shake. It tastes like green. Hey, Grimace. What are you doing near the Queensboro Bridge at three in the morning? Well, you see, Ronald, I'm the purple one and I do what I want. That's all I needed to know. All right. Well, that was commercial chaos. And what a commercial chaos it was. Uh, thank you, everybody that submitted this shit. Thank you, especially to Mad Clown. Holy fuck. Great job vetting. Great job getting all that stuff together for the YouTube poops. Um, thank you all for watching. Now, I have some really good um, ROM hacks up next if you want to stick around. But before we do that. Somebody touched me. I hate him so much. <laughs> All the big stuff. Was that the one that was tonguing the ring or was there another golem? I know there were like three or four golems tonight. I don't remember which one actually tongued the ring. He was just so used to the rim of Mordor. We'll be right back, everybody. Stick around. Going to play a song. I'll be back with some, some interesting Mario banjo and maybe some other things um, you'll enjoy. If not, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. This was fun. Um, really crazy number of people here tonight, and I'm just fucking completely blown away by that. So thanks for, uh, thanks for stopping by. But you should stick around because there's going to be some interesting, interesting stuff in just a moment. Thirty-six. That's pretty impressive, actually. 